Professor, Chris Bishop, Technical Manager at DMS. This specific video is based around the MMSP heat meters that DMS supply into the industry, uh, alongside the electrification of heat pumps project uh, involving passive systems and the utilities involved uh, around the UK. Um, today we're just going to discuss the actual products, which is going to be the 449 heat meter and the 440 heat meter, which is based on the actual sizes of the heat pumps that are involved on certain projects around the UK on certain schemes. Uh, we're going to go through the sort of wiring, we're going to go through actually what you receive in the actual package, uh, we're going to go through sort of other factors that's quite a common uh, sort of situation in the UK at the moment on certain installers getting it wrong, uh, just to prove that we're there to help and, and obviously after this particular sort of video we can discuss and have telephone conversations moving forward. This is the video to start the superstatic 449 heat meter. Uh, this is generally used on the 5 kilowatt uh, heat pumps where we're in the UK alongside the scheme. Uh, so that's 3 quarter inch connection. Uh, I'll go through some other slides in a second to go through the steps on what you receive and how you receive it. Package requirements for the superstatic 449. Two brass pockets two BSP Mauer Unions, package box with individual labels in relation to HP HM or boiler HM depending on the order code, heat meter display with flow part, optional extra T pieces which is a requirement to mount temperature sensors in place. Typical installation requirements of the Superstatic 449. Flow part installed inside the return part of the system in conjunction with the BSP unions. T piece installed in the return part of the system. Pocket installed inside. Ready to mount the return sensor marked blue. T piece installed in the flow part of the system using sensor red. Integrator can be mounted on the wall or on the actual flow meter body if required. Removal of the 449 display. Two clips, either side of the display. Clip two, clip two, pull apart. You then have access to the power supply, 230 volt, you then got access to the Modbus card, referencing Passive Systems Installation Guide on how to wire. All settings will be unique to the actual order and the application involving HP, HM or boiler. Temperature sensors, flow temperature goes into terminals 1 and 2 on the main board. Terminals 3 and 4 go into the return sensor. And then you have the white, green and brown wire from the flow meter. White is terminal 10, green is terminal 11, brown is terminal 9. Place integrator back on to the display, lining up the two clips either side. Do not use any considerable force. Push into the base, job done. So this involves a superstatic 440. This is generally used on the 8 kilowatts, 12 kilowatts and 14 kilowatts. There might be some variations to that. Uh, this is generally used on the 1 inch uh, connections. Uh, and I will obviously tell you on the next slide uh, of what you receive and how you receive it. Package contents for the superstatic 440. Two pockets. Display integrator, temperature sensors, flow part being installed in the system, and the box, as per the 449, reference HP, HM, or boiler, depending on the order code of the actual product, and also the T pieces that are optional extra that are required to mount the temperature sensors.
typical installation of the Superstatic 440. We have flow pipe, we have return pipe, meter gets installed into the return using the BSP unions that are supplied alongside a T-piece mount where the pocket goes into and the return sensor goes into that location and the flow sensor marked red goes into the flow pipe work. Integrator can only be mounted on the wall using the respected bracket that's at the back of the unit. Typical installation wiring of the Superstatic 440 alongside the Supercal 531. To remove the display, you've got the two clips as per the 449. Removal of the front display, giving you access to the power supply. Wire it up as per power supply requirements. You then got access to the Modbus card. We then got access to terminals 1, 2, which is for the actual flow cable which is the actual red sensor, terminals 3 and 4, which is for the blue sensor on the return side of the system, and terminals 10, 11 and 9 in relation to 10 being the white wire, green being the 11 wire, and the brown being the 9 wire. Obviously that is your typical setup now with regards to the wiring, and the main thing now is placing the unit display back onto the front. Line up the two displays, don't use considerable force as you're pushing the display in. And basically click in place to reveal the actual display that's on boot up process and then commissioning instructions uh, used alongside the passive system setup guide. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it was informative to you and give you some guidance on installation and best practice in relation to the wiring and other aspects of the heat meters. Uh, if you do need to call me, obviously you can call 01773 534 555 uh, and ask for Chris Bishop and I will guide you through it on whatever questions you might have. Uh, other than that, email at sales at dmsltd.com and we can offer some support via email as well. Thank you.